Take that, Michael. If you ever get a dead dink, that's a dink that floats high. It gives you time and space to make a decision that might put the opponent in an uncomfortable position. You gotta do something with it. You decide to attack it. That's decision number one. Decision number two is where do you attack? So I'm in a battle with Michael right now. Let's say he gives me a dead dink, boom. Nice. So what you saw Michael do is he got caught in this chicken wing position. That's what we call it, the chicken wing, right? Most players sit backhand. And part of the reason is you can keep the paddle out in front of you when you sit backhand. I have all this space over here. I can still sit in back and I start to lose my mobility when I'm here, right? I can still be around this area. When I sit forehand, I do have length out here, right? But once I get into this middle area, I get jammed, partly because my elbow. Just do this right now. Like put your arm out, bring your elbow in. It's harder to hit this ball right here. So I have more space from here out or here. I'm like into this area, which is very uncomfortable for my wrist. So why do you aim to that right shoulder or that right hip? Because of what you just saw, it puts them in a very difficult position. Because I hit that ball over to his right side, he got jammed, he got in that chicken wing position, and he ended up missing. Occasionally that ball will be popped up for a put away. Call that a chicken wing. Call, 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 call. <laughs>